I found out that Dollar Tree has a selection of PC gaming stuff for $5 a pop. So let's switch to the dang pods angle and uh, let's take a look at what I got here. All right, are we ready? Ready to see the goods. Ready to see the goods. I got a keyboard. I got a mouse. I got speakers. And I got an LED microphone that I can't wait to do butthole ASMR with. And if you're not a fan of speakers, I got these things for literally a dollar twenty-five. It says it on the on the on the ticket wherever it went. Okay, so for whatever reason, my microphone paused. So you're gonna have to hear the iPhone audio for a little bit. But uh, yeah. BTS two-tone earbuds, dollar twenty-five. You can't get any cheaper than that. So uh, decisions, decisions. What should we start with? I I should probably start with the mouse because that would be the most common sense thing. So let me clear everything off. Here's the mouse. And, um, sounds like something's loose in there. Arf. And to test the mouse out on, I have this aluminum mouse pad that I've had for seven years. Seven years! And it's held up. Cosmetically, I should replace it, but functionally, no. It's good. It's good. It's Everything still glides around on it pretty nicely. So... Hey, let me in. Oh, before I take it out of his box, I should probably look at the box itself. LED RGB backlight, gaming design, stroke life of a million. You can stroke it a million times and it will still hold up. And the same thing on the back. LED, gaming design, million times stroke life. Specifications, wired luminous mouse. DPI of 800, 1000, and 1200, rate of return 125, 48 inches, 125 centimeter wire length, stroke life 1 million times, and it has the same thing right there. So, uh, you see it, I see it, we all see it, let's take it out of his box. Ah, give me the cheap goodies. It's actually, wait a minute. <laughs> I was about to say it's weightier than I thought it was, but nah, 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 fam. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, hey, that's a pretty solid scroll wheel, though. Doesn't sound as hollow as I thought it would sound. Not bad, not bad. Now, let's, let's, let's gamer it up. Plug this wretched thing into my PC that once had a drop control keyboard in it. That's not a very bright LED at all. The LEDs are not very bright at all. And, uh, you know, what are you expecting for literally a $5 gaming mouse? Literally $5. The colors look nice though, I like the cycle. So let's put the mouse aside and let's get to something else. Let's check out the speakers next. Wanna check out the speakers? Hehe. <laughs> Can't wait to hear how tinny they sound. Oh, compatible with PS4, PS4 Pro, Xbox One, and PC. LED color changing, $5. What are you gonna get for $5 gaming speakers? The Raze Duo GSP-190K from Zeboom Gaming Gear. Okay, speaker output is six watts, three watts, that's all. Okay, I'm here for the frequency response. The frequency response is 180 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Okay, so we have that going for it. We have a 1.3 meter long cable. We have five volt USB pad. We have you know three and a half millimeter jack. Okay, so let's uh, let's pop it open. Why don't we? I like how delicate I'm being with this. Like it's some prestigious thing that should be kept in its box. Yeah, like I'm gonna keep this box. It's gonna keep it in the fucking trash is what I'm gonna keep it in. Money shot. Oh. Okay. So uh, oh man. The smell of cheap plastic is now permeating the room. I mean, my speakers that I paid $5 for. That was a lot harder than it should have been. So, there are the speakers right there. So, I'm going to unfurl this. I'm going to plug this into my PC just to see the lights, the shiny, shiny lights. Oh, wow. Ooh. So I'm curious as to how they sound, so I broke out my iPod for this. Extremely tinny. 
I don't have any royalty-free music on my iPod, and I'm not gonna sync anything up just right now. I'm in the middle of recording. I don't want to do that. And I'm gonna play something that I actually made myself. Well, I didn't make the beat. I found the beat, but I did the splicing and all of that. I've heard better come out of speakers, but I've also heard worse. They're kind of tinny. The bass is kind of muddy. It's just, it, it, it's eh. It'll get you by if you absolutely have to. For $5? Honestly, I'm not gonna complain. Okay. Hee <laughs> hee. I wanna yell into this thing. Again, $5. RGB LED lights, multicolor mode, USB connectivity, universal compatible. Red, green, and blue. Nice. Plug and play, on and off switch, console compatible and streaming ready. Oh man. I bet you guys would love to see me come on stream with this microphone on. Always cut away from yourself. Show me the goods. Show me the goods. They went all out with this thing. Fucking bubble wrap, bro. Isn't this the most gamery thing you've ever seen? So it sits like this. It has a gooseneck and it's supposed to point at your face hole like this. I, I could do a podcast with it. On and off. That is a big... This whole thing right here. Look at this. This whole thing right here. Eh. This whole thing right here is an on and off switch. That's amazing. If my MacBook were running, I would do it. But my MacBook's been wanting to be poo poo stinky butthole. It's a 15 year old MacBook. Give it, give it some time. Will Windows 11 even recognize it? <laughs> Look at it. Look at it. It's a beast. We're listening to the sound of the Game Pro LED microphone from Dollar Tree. I'm speaking about six inches away from the microphone, and now I'm speaking about one foot away from the microphone, and now I'm speaking about a fist's length away from the microphone. Eh. I honestly thought it would sound like a C920 webcam microphone, but that's not the case. It's very quiet. And even though it was very quiet, the plosives were very loud. When I would pa pa ta ta into the microphone, it was very loud, especially when I was three inches away. Not to mention the background noise was absolutely god awful. I will say though, it is a quality gooseneck. Okay, before we get into the grand finale here, I just want to try the earbuds real quick. These things were a dollar twenty-five. So let's just. I hate it when it does that. I absolutely hate it when it does that. All right, cough them up. There you go. Good boy. Got gotcha, your good boy. Wow. It's like I'm picking up nothing. Really quickly, I just want to do this test that Dank Pods does to test how hollow they sound. It sounds like marbles. It sounds like someone just broke a pearl necklace and let all the pearls fall onto the floor. So let me plug this into my audio interface. Let me listen to Lao Gan Ma. Doesn't even have left and right indicates. No indicators on what left and right is. I honestly do like the color and design of these earbuds. It looks like the year 1998 just threw up all over a pair of earbuds. So let's let's give these a quick listen. <laughs> nothing but mids. Absolutely nothing but mids. The middle frequencies, it's so tinny. And they're quiet too. I had to turn my interface all the way up to hear anything. What was I expecting? They're a dollar twenty-five. Of course they're gonna be god awful. Just, just nothing but mids. <laughs> and they're very quiet. I had to turn my Behringer UM2 all the way up, and then turn the YouTube video all the way. Up. I'll I'll link the song in the description that I made. It's on another channel, but um, they're just very tinny. Just, just bleh. All right, last piece here. Da, 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 da. I cannot wait to see how this feels. LED keyboard from Game Pro. Five dollars. <laughs> Fully compatible with XP, Vista, Linux. They put Linux in there. And most consoles. Okay. That is easy as bippity boppity boo. Let's see. Uh, bippity. Boppity. Da, 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 
<laughs> it weighs nothing. Like, literally. I am dead serious. This thing is so light that it wouldn't even be a good paperweight. At all. LED on and off. Can I get rid of this? Why the fuck did they put an adhesive sticker on the keycaps? That is so stupid. That is so stupid. Why did they do that? That is so stupid. Look at the look at the adhesive residue. How are you gonna get that off? I mean, they're not really keys you use all the time, so I guess I shouldn't be complaining, but why? Why would you do this? Why? Who hurt you? I need to get some goo gone to this shit. I need my extremely cheap $5 Dollar Tree keyboard to be in pristine condition for my collection of cheap ass shit from Dollar Tree that you wouldn't never expect to find there. That was so dumb. That was dumb. That was extremely dumb. Not even a braided cable either. At least the mouse, the mouse has a braided cable. See? It's not from GamePro. Game Pro, you let me down. Oh my god, that keyboard flex. Look at the keyboard flex. Look at it. Oh my god. This thing is a goddamn saltine cracker. <laughs> Are you ready to see the gamer colors? See gamer co- Ooh, I see gamer colors. Bring back, bring back, where, where do the gamer colors go? Bring back the gamer colors. There we go. <laughs> Can you cycle through them? Nope. Okay, so I have notepad open. I'm just gonna type some shit. Oh, good. Good. It has feet. This thing is so light. Look at this. There's no, there's no, like, rubber on the bottom to... Oh, yeah, there is. No, that's not even rubber. That's just plastic that has some grip on it. That's not gonna do anything. That's not gonna do anything. Alright, let's see. The... Oh, the key travel's not bad, but it's extremely... Extremely mushy. It's an extremely mushy membrane. Oh, it's a very mushy membrane keyboard. Quick. Oh, that is nasty. It feels like I'm typing in mud. The quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Oh, man. <laughs> that is... Uh... I don't know if you can see it, but when I just if I press down on it... It bends it, even if I push down on it the slightest. I need another angle of this amazing keyboard flex. All right, you ready for some shit? Look at that flex. That's not supposed to happen. Oh my God. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna play some fucking brutal doom. All right, let's do this. Okay, the lowest DPI is good for me. Ah! I'm already not good at FPS games, so... Oh wait, he's still alive. Okay, not anymore. Where's that other shot coming from? Look at this bitch. Damn it. We're okay. Ah. There we go. Bitch. Ooh, twofer. Oh, that was a twofer. How did you survive that? How did you survive that? There was no way you should have survived that. Yeah, I'm not gonna play any Valorant or Fortnite normie bullshit. I'm just playing Brutal Doom. It's very mushy. It tries to be tactile, but because it's so mushy, it just it fails miserably. The mouse... The mouse... It's serviceable. The mouse is serviceable. The keyboard... Eh. I guess I'm not having the worst experience because, you know... Back in the day, I used to switch out peripherals all the time because I just get like, you know, a $15 Big Lots keyboard and then that would break in six months and I'd get another one that feels different. So I guess I'm just kind of still stuck in that.
I am playing with no strategy right now. I keep hitting body shots. Where's that secret? Right here, baby. Alright. Ah, I'm all over the place. Thing is, this keyboard won't stay still either because it's all over the place because it doesn't have any proper, like, rubber feet. Okay, I'm just going to zoom through the rest of the level. Bitch. I did horrible, but I always do horrible even with good hardware. So that's enough of that. So one more thing I want to test the mouse out with is cookie clicker. <laughs> I want to see how good it can click. I clicked it and it didn't even register. There we go. We need 15. Go ahead and grab that. It's too wobbly. Just do that. The butterfly technique? Yeah, just do the butterfly technique. So we need 100 to get a grandma. So let me get it to 100. It's not even registering my butterfly technique properly. That is bad. That is very bad. I can smell your rotten cookies. <laughs> this thing can't even cookie click properly. What if I what if I double up? There we go. Doubling up's alright. Eh, getting the cramps. Getting the Krampus. Yeah, this thing isn't uh, ideal for cookie clicking. You have to really press down with this as compared to my Razor Death Adder, which is like yeah, it takes no effort to click it, but it's very tactile, so you know you clicked it. This, you really have to press down. So yeah, it's not optimal for cookie clicker, but, you know, at least I have a backup keyboard and mouse now. Well, there you go, folks. Here's the Dollar Tree gaming setup. I hope you enjoyed this video because, uh, I, I enjoyed putting this all together, even though I did have a little technical difficulty with my computer and everything and getting recording setting up and all of that. For some unknown reason, my computer just decided to give me shit for recording. So, specifically this video. I guess it knew what I was going to put in it. So it was like, nope, uh-uh, I'm not doing that today. Just for everyone's pleasure, I'm going to turn out the lights so you can see all the, all the pretty LEDs. Wow. That's very dim. <laughs> That's very dim. Wow, that is dim. So with that in mind, I will see you all next time doing something else that's not related to this because no two videos of mine are the same.